Did you know that a total of 28 million people are credit invisible? That means that this many people don't have a credit profile. So tell me, are you part of that statistic? Let me know in the comments. And as you're right, I also want to share with you that aside from this number, there's also 21 million people who cannot qualify for credit despite having a credit profile, which sadly indicates that the lenders view them as undesirable candidates for a loan. And out of these two figures right here, 26% of them are Hispanic, 28% are African American, and 16% are white and Asian. The good news is that there is a way to prevent yourself from being part of this statistic, allowing you to build credit without the need for a credit card. And all you have to do is keep paying your rent on time like you always have. Paying rent on time is not only to get the right to live in a certain place. As a consumer, you can maximize the benefit of the rent pay when you report those timely payments to the credit bureaus and thus be able to create and build a good credit profile. And there you have it. You are building credit without having to use or spend money from a credit card. And that's not all. The strategy that I'm about to share with you not only helps you build credit, but also allows you to show that you have been responsible with your credit for years. For example, let's suppose that Jim Spender has been renting his current residence for five years and that Jim pay his rent on time the first of each month. When he takes those five years and multiplies them by 12 months, we're talking about a total of 60 timely payments. Isn't it nice to be able to report those 60 payments today and be able to build a five-year credit profile in a few days? By reporting years of your on-time rent payments, you are working on improving two components of your credit. To get everyone on the same page, your FICO score is made up of the following. Amount O, 30%. History of timely payments, 35%. Credit mix, 10%. Length of your credit, 15% and new credit, 10%. With this strategy, you'll be able to work on these two components of your credit. Now that you understand how credit works, it is time to get down to business and contact the services of Rental Karma to give your credit that nice boost. For those who don't know, Rental Karma is a service that reports your rent payment history to the credit bureaus, and they work with all types of tenants, those who rent from large resident complexes, those who rent from individual houses from small investors, and even those who rent from friends or family members. Rental Karma will report your rent no matter how you pay, whether you pay by check, money order, and why not, even with cash. As you can see in the website, Rental Karma reports past and ongoing activities to the credit bureaus. And through their services, you will be able to add all of your past rental payment history at your current residence to your TransUnion and Equifax credit reports. Increase your average score by 40 points when you report your past history. Get quick results by reporting your previous payment history. All the rentals see even better results. And you can see in the reviews. You continue to build your credit score into the future and those renters who report two years of past history and one year ongoing see increases of more than 100 points on average. Now, how can you work with Rental Karma? Very easy. Just uh, check the link on the description down below or in the first pinned comment section of the video to sign up for the services. And if you say that Novavice referred you, they will give you a 50% discount off their signup cost. Now, let's navigate the Rental Karma site together so you know where to go. Now, I wanna pause for a second and ask for your opinion. What do you think about what I'm sharing so far? Let me know down in the comment section below and your comment will help me get to know you better so that way I can design a much better episode that can meet your needs in terms of what you're looking to learn. Now, back to the episode. So here we are, you're seeing on the screen the three different options for you to sign up. One is by doing it online, the other one is by calling the number that you see on the screen, and the other one is by booking an appointment. Uh, my preferred method to sign up is to do it online because 
I just simply like convenience and it's easier. So if you choose to sign up online, all you're going to do is just to click on sign up online and then you just enter your information. So um, let's see here. You're going to type in uh, gym at um, yahoo.com and then gym. And then we talked about Jim Spender and then let's say his birthday is January 1st, 1970. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And what's the purpose of building credit? Let's just say that Jim is trying to buy a home, right? And then on the left side right here, you're going to see the type of plans that they offer. There's the individual plan just for you. But if you do have a member of your family or friend or someone that you want to sign up for the family plan, you can also choose to do that under the family plan section. And here where you see add a promotion code, you will type in the word Novarize. And let's say you're choosing the individual plan. And by typing the code, once you hit apply, you're going to see this 50% cost of signing up for the service drop to $25. And if you choose a family plan, same thing. So you're going to get a discount of $25. So it's 50% off if you choose the individual plan and it's $25 off if you choose the family plan. But if signing up online is not an option for you, again, you can always choose to give them a call at this number right here or book the time and just simply say that you learn about them from Nova Rice and they will honor the discount for you.